what is good you guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to do another pick a card reading today and on today's pick a card we're going to be doing what you don't see coming what you don't see coming or something to that degree it'll be in the title by the time you see this but yeah we're going to do something along those lines what don't you see coming what don't you see happening for you in the near future we have three piles today so let's get into the three piles the first pile is going to be the modern witch tarot for pile one pile two is the light seers tarot and Pile three, of course, is the Tarot of the Divine, all right? So for the piles again, pile one is the Modern Witch Tarot, pile two is the Light Seer's Tarot, and pile three is the Tarot of the Divine. This reading is going to be on what you don't see coming. What don't you see coming? What's coming towards you in the near future that you do not see coming, all right? So after you guys choose your pile, <laughs> second pile but after you guys choose your pile I will see you at your correlated pile pile one pile one was good you are the modern witch tarot we're gonna see what don't you see coming You're... all right I'm hearing a knock at the door that's crazy how I like tap the box down like that so a knock at the door. Let me actually pull some of these cards really quick, some Oracle cards and some of my channel messages cards too. Let's just see what's going on. What can you expect? Like what you don't see coming? What's happening that you do not see coming? Pow one, what don't you see coming? Protection. Okay. Revolution, sorcery. Crystal technology and tradition. There's something being made right here for you, pile one. With this knock on the door, you could be expecting a letter or something. Someone could be knocking on your door to let you know some good news or some sort of news here that's coming in. Let me pull some of these channeled messages. Let's see. What don't you see coming your way? Ancestors. Okay, so... It's something here about you being protected with something. Options. We got options here. And what else? What else? Don't you see coming? Don't look back. And then we got celebrity. Yes, there's something happening for you here. Or there's a knock at your door for some sort of good news coming in. We're going to get into it. But I like this energy a lot. So there's something here that you are worried about, Pile One. Whether it seems like an unfortunate situation or something that you've been waiting to hear back from here. We got the protection card. So you're protected throughout something here. Or you put your intentions out towards something. This could be a new job, more money. Money. you set the intention to start getting more subscribers to your channel more business if you run a business um, more notoriety more more views more magnetism it's something that you've been calling in for yourself I'm hearing the way the path is crystal clear right now so there's something here that you are going through this rebirth or you're being refined right now by traditions or it's something here when it comes to your ancestors they're helping you step into more of your power or you're learning more about your past or digging into your family's history a little bit a bit when it comes to looking towards something but I think you are being guided and you're being protected not just from spirit because spirit is going to protect you but also to like your ancestors or people from the past they're seeing the work that you're doing on yourself and they're stepping in to assist you or stepping in or giving their power i'm hearing you're getting a gift or it's something about relinquishing power or passing some sort of 
energy, some sort of energy down the line to you. It's something about you're going to feel vindicated when it comes to something or there's something here that's happened that you've been on this trajectory for quite some time for unfavorable situations after unfavorable situations have been happening to you but there's something here that you're being called to move forward or there's something about you're getting ready to move out of a place you could be literally moving or literally moving into a new destiny or it's it's something about a detour here that's going to make you a celebrity so it's something here about like there's been things i'm hearing hidden so you've been hidden for quite some time or you've been protected from something or you just haven't been seen you haven't got the notoriety you haven't got the you haven't got the views you haven't got something although you've been putting in work towards something but it, I'm, I'm seeing here that your ancestors or someone down the line is relinquishing more power towards you or power to you strength card yes so this is becoming more aware of who you are we got the tower card here too so yes this is this is happening pretty fast but it's something that you're not supposed to look back from because now you're going into this space where you're going to be looked at very differently here tell me more about this situation oh. <sighs> We got the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And then we have the Two of Swords here, which I find very interesting. Plus the High Priestess in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse. Listen, this is very important, Pawan. This is very important because I feel like I'm hearing a lot of nosiness right now. I'm hearing a lot of nosiness. I'm hearing a lot of monitoring spirits. I'm hearing a lot of the chatter from the past that could also be coming in at the same time. So picture it like this, because the way that I'm seeing it is, there's an opportunity that's going to be dropped off at your doorstep. It's something about a knock on the door where it's an opportunity, or it seems like there's something here that's an opportunity for you. But also too, because I'm hearing it's like a race. So there could be other, there could be another situation that seems unfavorable, but it's kind of like trying to beat the good thing to the punch it's trying it's something else that's trying to come into to stop you or to cause and more another tower moment or to call it's something about like a veil over your life here and so what i see with this queen of swords in reverse and this queen of wands it's something about you have to sit in this knowing and i think this is why your ancestors are passing down or relinquishing more of this power for you to stand to be able to withstand something to be able to withstand the type of celebrity energy that you may be giving off it's something about learning how to be more comfortable with this type of energy being seen being sought after being looked at being um it's something about you're going to go into this energy I'm hearing of like instant stardom or like this type of growth that you've never seen and maybe because you've been hidden for quite some time you you felt unseen but now it's all of a sudden going to be a lot of eyes on you when it comes to something and all of a sudden it's going to be like you don't know exactly which way to go or what decision to make it's going to shock you here but we also have the high priestess in reverse so and the three of cups in reverse so this is very important because we also have the ten of pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck and the devil at the uh, in reverse at the bottom of the deck so i'm hearing that the only thing that can can stop this from happening is if you were to allow other people in this type of in in this energy that you're going to be in like whether it's people from the past or people that just want to know your business or people that just want to ask because i see right now you're going to start getting a lot of people coming into your energy kind of asking checking in seeing how you're doing trying to monitor you that sort of thing but there's something that's coming in for you that's super special and just for you and the path will be made crystal clear so it's something that you're going to be and when i say dropped off at your door this doesn't necessarily mean that it could be something dropped off at your door although that could be very much so but it's also like something that's coming to you some sort of knowledge some sort of something that you hear in passing by or there's a sort of you're going to wake up one day and there's like a rush of energy like you're going to realize what your purpose is or you're going to realize what direction to move in. You're going to realize what's your path here. So this is about learning how to sit in this energy instead of actually speaking and always telling what you're going to do or thinking that you have to be right. Or it's something about 
maybe before you were very open with other people but this this doesn't need anyone right here this is this is you having to be quiet while things are being worked on in the background so there could be something here about a lot of people thinking that you're going to do something very traditional or you're realizing the traditional way is not for you so this is why we have the revolution the sorcery and the traditional card so it could also be too that you are more spiritually inclined or you're waking up to more of your spiritual abilities and so now other people will be starting to see this side of you and so it's kind of like you're going to need that you're going to need that energy so let's just say if you're a tarot reader and or a reader of some sort or something like you do something in the occult and you grew up in a religious organization and so there may be nobody that really knows that you do this um or not a lot of people that know unless they come across your stuff and all of a sudden you're going to start getting noticed by more people that knew you from when you were in that organization and it's kind of like people you're gonna have to like be able to withstand something some sort of judgment or something because you're gonna get notoriety from what you're doing whatever this is or you're gonna gain some sort of following and it's gonna be fast and it's gonna be because you you've come more into your authentic self so you're gonna be protected during this time but you're being refined in because with this crystal clear technology it's a little being in here like a little baby in here that's just chilling so spirit is really helping you through this time and i'm hearing the dogs barking in the background so it's kind of like you have to be aware of all this unnecessary chatter not to engage yourself in anything unnecessary this type of chatter so tell me more about this that's coming towards them what don't they see coming i'm hearing you could expect it to happen this month in may it's something about you're going to you're going to get an inkling or you're going to get something that kind of flashes across your mind or something that's going to be so obvious that it's like this is the path yeah we got the world on the bottom here and the judgment so yes it look and the thing is about this you could be really afraid to like fully dive deep into your your calling because it's, it, it it could be some of you too like having that feeling that you want to quit your job or you're being pulled to like quit your job and trust in what you're doing or there's you're being called to quit your job and to move somewhere else or there's there's this sort of like whenever this there's this transfer of power from your ancestors it's going to be it's going to be pulling you in the direction that you know you're supposed to go and so this requires on your part to trust that you're being led down the path that you're supposed to be supposed to be led down despite the judgment from others despite the little naysayings of oh you seen how one they're going crazy they need help they need this they need that but you're on a purpose you're on a mission here yes six of wands you're on a mission here not only is this like a self-discovery mission but it's kind of like you find yourself or your true identity through this work that you're doing through building a community with whatever you're doing through realizing more of your power or coming back into um some sort of practice that your ancestors have done and you feel at home with that it's something here about it's so it's, it's kind of like you've been placed on the back burner your whole life or have felt like there's no one that wasn't really listening to you or things just didn't go the way for you that you thought that they should go or or kind of how you knew that they should go but it's kind of like you were kind of in this space where it was like doing things that did not work for you or it's going to be something about like you have to be bolder like i'm hearing that song what's that song um you gotta be, you gotta be bad, you gotta be bold, you gotta be wiser, you gotta be hard, you gotta be tough, you gotta be stronger. Okay, that whole song, you gotta be cool, you gotta be calm, you gotta stay together. So it's kind of like, this is what spirit is like telling you like when you feel this nudge it's best not to question it here it's best not to look back in the past it's best not to it's best to close the cycle out it's best to stop talking to those people that you know are monitoring spirits or, or coming in just it's best to let the past go is what i'm i'm hearing a clean breakaway a clean breakaway ten of swords here so to cut all that off don't entertain i'm keep hearing don't entertain anything of the old when this comes in so yeah the six of cups in reverse and then the ace of pentacles so yes it's more so about taking hold of this new beginning and not looking back at the things or the behaviors or the the things that we were scared to do or 
not accept of ourselves when we were younger because you might have already had these callings when you were younger but you never listened so it kind of seems like you were in that holding pattern and it seems like the ancestors are coming in and looking like you know what it's time for us to step in and move so and so out the way because they not moving <laughs> so what else is coming towards you what else is coming towards my pile one the magician yes Yes, in the Five of Pentacles in reverse. See, listen, this and this is something you don't see. And you're gonna you're gonna question it at first because you're gonna be like, can I trust this? Is this something I'm supposed to be trusting right now? But I'm hearing something about the more that you kind of like assume this, assume the fact that you have the power or you have the answer or you know the answer. You know the an you you know, you're gonna know. You're going to know that you're protected and you're going to know that it's time for you to like start doing the work that you're supposed to be doing. And it's going to like everything that you thought that you didn't have or the money or all this stuff is going to like it's going to come right in towards you. Like it's going to be rushing to find you because you're not rushing to look for it. You get what I'm saying? So let's see what else. Four of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. So you're leaving, you're leaving the past. You're getting ready to leave the past completely. Anything, and this, and this is more so in terms of the thoughts and the projections that we have from our friends and family that that people have put on us. That oh, this is only what's supposed to happen when you're doing this or whatever religious or dogmatic things that you've been taught that you're realizing that you have to drop all of that because that's not your path or or it's it's something about like all of that has to leave so that way you can step more into this true version really co-creating your reality instead of waiting for someone to tell you or waiting for like on old concepts to kind of pull you through to where you're going you have a devil in reverse again the three of swords in reverse mm-hmm Now's the time for you to be quiet about what you have going on to with the hermit card. It's the time for you to be quiet because it's something about like last time you talked about something or the last few times you've talked about something because I'm getting something about you don't see your own power. This this gives me like someone who's had the power all the, all along. Ever, ever since I've been reading for this pile, I have the undertone feeling of like I'm, I'm reading for someone who has so much freaking power at their fingertips, but don't know the magnitude of their power. And it's, it's interesting because it's like other people are looking at you or watching you and see the power that you already have within you. They see it. So that's why it's like you never really knew your power, but you were not moving from the ideal person or the or into the beliefs or the beliefs that feel true for you. And so you never fully understood your power, but people could see it radiating off on you. So when people would ask or you would be excited to tell your friends or whoever your ideas, they're looking like, oh, I know that this person has the get up and go in them to do this. And they automatically could start talking down on what you're doing or wishing negative and you may not even know this this is something you may not even notice yeah king of swords and the seven of cups here so speaking against all of your endeavors like everything that you could put your hand to like all the options these people know that you have options because we have options back here you always have had options but it's like these people with the king of swords it's kind of like these people may have had a stronger viewpoint of you or you were not privy to your own protection like you weren't it's, it's been your ancestors protecting you this whole time you have not been aware is what i'm hearing here so yeah nine of swords and the four of cups but it's led to a very stagnant sort of like life or, or a life that's not super fulfilling or you don't understand why you don't feel good when you know you should feel good but now it's like they're helping you to remember <laughs> You're being brought out of this place for the Seven of Swords in reverse. So now you can start realizing what's been said and the little things, the little sly remarks and things like that. You're going to start being open and understanding more now of the people who really genuinely care for you, accept you. And you're going to start learning and remembering like, oh, well, when this person said that they really didn't mean that they weren't really on my side. They just said that so I wouldn't go for it and I believed it. So it's like now spirit is like, okay, now listen, the will is turning in your favor. It's time to, 
it's time to drop all that happened in the past and step into your empress emperor position here so it's going to be like you're going to be pushed into that into that position but this time you're going to understand because you're going to have the the things that work for you the qualities that work for you the the type of lifestyle the type of everything that works for you and it's not based off a of tradition it's going against the grain so that's what's different for you that's what you can expect here especially those of you who have had lives that feel just lackluster like there's nothing going on you don't know what's going on it just don't feel like it's anything popping but things are going to be popping pretty soon all right so yeah you guys that's it for pile one i'm gonna leave it here that's what you don't see coming towards you but it's coming all right so i love you guys and i will see you guys on my next reading bye pile two pile two you are the light seers tarot you're the light seers tarot i don't know why we're having trouble with the yeah okay so yeah so pile two you are the light seers tarot we're gonna see what's coming towards you that you don't see like what's coming towards you what's happening what's popping up on you that you cannot you don't even expect all right so let's pull some of these oracle cards real quick i want to tap in and see what's going on in the energy before we get started on the reading so yeah i'm hearing transportation you guys, some of you guys could be getting a new car soon. Some of you guys could definitely be getting a new car. I'm hearing new transportation. I'm hearing double or nothing. Double or nothing. You know that love and basketball? <laughs> At the end of love and basketball, when, he's when he tells Monica, he's like, all right, well, do you want to play again for like double or nothing? So it's something that you're getting back. I keep hearing you're getting back something that you've lost here let's see what's coming towards my pile two what don't they expect peace freedom mm -hmm. there's a lot coming to you this feels good this energy and create create yes transmutation is really big here alchemy like you're alchemizing a lot pile two you're getting back you're i'm hearing you're getting back double kind of like a double portion of something that's been taken from you or something that you felt like you lost or you're gaining finally feeling free or peace within in your creative endeavors or you're giving the space the money or some of some sort to actually have space to create let's see what else is coming that they don't see? What is my pile two coming? Okay. <laughs> we got self-expression, exactly. There's a, I feel like this is a long time coming, I should say, pile two. This is a long time coming. What you're getting ready to step into that you don't see has been a long time coming. And I keep getting something about effort or, uh, like effort versus like force or force versus like flow it's something here about like you've been forcing something into existence for quite some time we also have the siren here too so and then we have genuine yes okay so there's a sense of authenticity here or a certain type of freedom here or a certain type of self-expression that you are going to be doing or that you're doing or there's some sort of energy that you're moving with it feels more peaceful within and it's something about you're getting you're getting something new you're getting something from this sort of peace that you're you're uh receiving here we got the healing card and we also have the cake card so we have instead of icing you know the whole saying you guys about like if there's a cake then the substance of a thing or a person is good but if it's just icing it's just like the superficial type stuff but i see here that you're going through this transformation and you could be finding it through your creative endeavors or through you learning how to welcome in a little bit more creativity instead of um, needing things to I'm hearing needing things to be literal here you could be a cancer you could be a cancer or you could be a I'm hearing you could be a Leo rising you could be a Taurus lots of fixed fixed energy here too Taurus Aquarius Capricorn, Libra, Scorpio. 
So let's see what's going on. It, I, what I'm seeing here is that there's this, this level of this type of self-expression like that's I'm hearing it's going to be undeniably magnetic here. Let's see what's going on for my pile two. What don't they see coming? The devil. You know, I feel like, let me, let's see new job new car five of swords in reverse okay pal two pal two i feel like i'm hearing everything everywhere all at once it, it you know what i'm getting in my mind is it's all of a sudden going to click for you there's something that's happening that's going to click for you this could be in regards to now let me let me just say this because i've had a moment like this before what i'm in i'm being recalled i'm called to remember this uh situation that i've been through in my life about how sometimes we go through our life feeling that we're not worthy or we don't have the tools necessary to make things happen or we believe something that someone has told us or whatever this is for quite some time and then we hide the best parts of ourselves or we just do things or superficial things to sort of like put on the facade of like freedom or authenticity but it's never truly us and so whatever like we get whether it's the friends the partners the the things or whatever this is the success around these this sort of thing it it's hard for it to last it's hard for it to last and for some reason i'm seeing something about there's some sort of a level of peace that you've come into that you've recently come into that has freed you from the judgment of others or from the judgment of like the past and what it does is it steps you up into the put i cannot make this shit up you guys wow it steps you into the emperor position and we got the star and the full card it steps you into that okay it steps you into this position it steps you into this sort of like okay well if life is a game how am i gonna play it how am i gonna play it? and i think you realize by playing small or playing in a way where you're not allowing people to see the full you or to to even be in your presence your true presence like how captivating you actually are you actually are a siren it's kind of like trying to become a siren but it's a si person that doesn't know that they're a siren trying to become a siren you know how those people there's people that are, are like super insanely attractive but they don't know they're attractive and so people kind of treat them any kind of way because they don't know that they're attractive like that's what this gives here but there's some sort of like authentic self-expression that you are doing in your work this could be around in your work or this could be kind of just in the way that you just don't care anymore to i'm hearing something about caring anymore about seeming like you know if you got your like bitchy tendencies or whatever like like you're not hiding that away it's kind of like you stop people pleasing and then you're like i gotta get to the real substance of me so it's kind of like you're not able to hold back anymore is what it is and this is coming through like healing for you so yeah you finding your authenticity stepping into your star power and starting over from there is what's what you don't see coming this sort of healing and it's going to be like everything that you thought that you didn't have that you were trying to get under this mask you're seeing you already had that you you didn't know that you already were the goat you were trying to be the goat but you didn't know that you already were it mm -hmm. three of wands here so that is that perspective shift that you're having or you will be having through this so let's see i'm hearing uh oh you fancy huh oh you fancy huh so there's something here about you you're gonna start having enough money soon I don't know people something about people are going to want to invest in you i'm hearing look like money talk like money smell like money so it's something here about your energy that's giving off money giving off abundance giving off this natural state of being here yes the magician card we got the nine of swords in reverse at the bottom so it's kind of like you're no longer crying about the past or holding on to that old version. You're like, you know what? I can I can be myself. It's kind of giving like what would happen if I just decided to express myself fully the way that I want to, regardless of whatever anybody thinks about me. What what could happen? What could happen? All right. So let's see what else is happening. That's what you guys are, are, are thinking about here. 
some of you, you could be really good with your words. And so now like there's this, this energy of finally starting to speak up here, the moon card. Yeah. So you have a, a way with words is what I hear. You could definitely be a Gemini or like a lot of planets in the Mercury or your something about like your first house could be in like a Mercury planet. But it's something about realizing you have a way with words or you have a way with people. You have a way with captivating people, pulling people in some sort of like thing that you do. <clears throat> There's an energy that you're going to be accepting about yourself maybe you knew this at one point in time but you just were afraid to really like have people follow what you're saying or listen to what you're saying or something about like you maybe didn't want that responsibility before but there's there's some sort of community here that's going to be forming around you through this authenticity, yeah, the Empress card, you're birthing this community through your authenticity. So you could be inspiring more people to be them, their authentic selves. You could be showing your authentic self and it may not be like a perfect life or a perfect like, you could be like one of those influencers on TikTok or something that just shows that their regular everyday life, like not a luxurious life, but a regular life. And you're so in love with yourself. There's something here about you being so in love with yourself that it's going to be bringing in money, abundance, love. This sort of, yes, the Ace of Pentacles. It's what puts the roots down, roots down in something brand new is this authenticity here. So let's see what else is coming because I feel like it's everything. It's going to be a new, uh, something about a new car, new, new, new increasing increasing revenue and money increasing opportunities increasing people are something about people are just going to give you give you stuff free stuff you may notice you start getting free stuff from people the temperance card because you're expanding this jupiter energy here so you're i'm hearing it's a lot of like allowing allowing your true self to shine through and that's what that's what's going to be bringing a lot of people in let's see what else is coming in Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, okay, Seven of Pentacles here. So listen, you could also too, not just new friends, but new partners, new dating experiences. It's something about like, get, I'm hearing get ready to go on the, the, the best dates or the most fun dates ever. I'm seeing something about a mystery like room. Like what's, what's one of those like mystery type of dates like where you go and then y'all solve this mystery together or something. I'm, I'm seeing a cooking class date, like a hand rolled sushi date. Like I got a whole movie. Y'all know how, how I do. I be having movies play in my mind, but like this cooking class, a pottery class, like a dance class. It's something about get ready to go on the most fun adventures. Oh my gosh. Allergies. But it's it's more like people are going to show you how amazing you are like or their appreciation for you. But you're showing this appreciation with yourself by letting yourself live out loud. We got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Listen, so listen, it's about showing yourself that appreciation by allowing yourself to live in that peaceful state of being yourself and not being worried about what the world has to say about this or that is calling in the kind of partners that you need and you want. So yes, six of <laughs> look, all the cards on the bottom. We got the ten of wands and the six of pentacles. So it's like, yeah, you decided to like just be yourself now. And so now you have this new gift where now you're like, you know what? I've done enough healing and I'm just going to live being myself. It's something about like you've been on this path of healing for quite some time. And then you realize, you know what? I'm, I'm, I could sit here and I could wait to be myself or I could start to like live my life as if I'm already the person I want to be. And then you start calling lovers in here. You start calling new people and you start a lot of people that have crushes on you, that sort of thing. Yeah. Page of cups, like a lot of people that could just start to notice you start to notice your energy here. And it's kind of like all because you were fed up with the past. And I think that this is will slowly start to trickle in and you'll probably notice it like when you get an upgrade or a, a job raise and then you get a new car and then you realize your energy is just picking up and up. But it starts with looking in the mirror is what I'm seeing and finding peace with yourself and being like, you know what? 
I, I I actually love you. I actually love you, and I'm glad that I get to spend my time with you. Like, how many times do you tell your yourself in the mirror, you guys, that you are resilient? Think about all the things that you go through or have been through that you've gotten gotten out of, or that you've done the work necessary to change your life. Like, how often do you acknowledge that in yourself? So it's kind of like when you start acknowledging, you know what? Instead of me trying to put portray a different side of me or a facade I could just say you know what you are right I get to spend this life with you why don't I get to know you a little better why don't I get to actually ask you what you need and what you want like can I actually do that and then when you do that yes listen I'm trying to tell you guys high priestess queen of swords and then the tower card in the middle it's the thoughts. It's, it's stemming from the thought first. That's like, you know what? I just got me here. I got me. I got my whole life with me. Like, what am I going to do? Like, if I can't find peace with in allowing myself to be myself and to free myself of having to be perfect and having to do all this stuff and making this and making that happen and blah, blah, blah. But what if I just decided, you know what? I'm going to get to know myself. I'm going to ask myself the real questions. I'm going to ask myself, you know what? Who do we like to be? What do we like to do? Are we truly an introvert or have we not given it any time to actually go outside and see if we could actually make friends like where am I shorting myself in this life that's what I'm getting here yes yeah, so hermit in the reverse hangman in the reverse coming out under those false illusions that you set up for yourself is what I'm seeing and starting to ask yourself like is this true about me like I say that you know all people cheat or whatever but but is that really true like have I allowed myself to go fully in on a relationship without thinking that thought in my mind, without manifesting that thought in my mind, by just allowing myself to be myself and let me see what the other person does? Like, have I given myself fully over to that? Yes, you guys. Anything else? So I'm hearing new lovers, new friends, new fun, fun dates this summer. Like, there's a lot here for you. Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Like I said at the bottom, you guys, look. There's a sort of dance that you're doing with yourself. Like, allowing yourself to ground the, the truth about yourself. Grounding the ideas about yourself that, hey, I've always been abundant. My life has been amazing. Like, I have opportunity. I have more opportunity now than I myself. And then we got the, uh, King, the Knight of Cups here. So it's kind of like you're going to see that the world is reflecting back to you how much you love yourself. And because you're creative and you find ways to, like, be there for yourself, like, whether it's journaling, whether it's trying something new, whether it's listening to yourself, you're going to see... And mirror it right back to you. People are going to be picking up on your thoughts. Okay, like, you know, the new dates. They're going to be bringing you the flowers, the gifts, everything that you've ever wanted. Like, you know, expressing themselves. Like, actually doing the work and being 100% honest because you're being honest. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's like finally realizing that you don't have to hide the best parts of yourself or that you could actually decide to like yourself or to get to know yourself. And... It's going to be like, you're just going to see how much better and better and better your life is going to get, pal, too. So that's what you don't expect. But it's going to start small and all of a sudden you're going to be like, you know what? My life is totally different. This summer is going to be one to remember for you. All right. So I'm actually going to leave the reading here and I will see you guys on my next reading. Bye. Last but not least, pal three, pal three. Welcome back. You are the tarot of the divine. So we're going to tap in. We're going to see what you do not see coming, what you don't see coming. All right. So I'm going to pull some of the Oracle cards to see the energy. What don't you see coming? What's happening next for you? I'm hearing favor. I'm hearing grace. There's something that's happening for you. Grace and favor. Let's see. I'm telling you, I couldn't make this up if I tried. The grace card. The grace card, you guys. Grace. And we got solitude. Grace and solitude. We got accountability, and then we have autonomy, favor, grace. There's there's something here that's like coming, a situation that's coming to an end of some sort for you. 
you're gonna be released from something a job a job or something like some of you guys been um, asking for a better job there's something here that's gonna like come come towards you or something here that's gonna free you let's see what else is coming towards my pile three that they don't see let's see It's coming to my pile three that they don't see. <laughs> we got let me upgrade you and we got how do you, how do you do that? Hmm. People gonna have a lot of questions for you. We got tunnel vision and we got presence and standards. Wow. There's a new recognition, a self-recognition that you're coming into. So we there's I'm hearing I'm hearing something about you're being upgraded for sure. And people are gonna have questions as to how you did that. Like what happened? It seems like it's gonna happen in a way where if you see people that you've seen maybe like three, four months ago, you've seen them and then all of a sudden you see them again and then next thing you know. You're, you're so completely different than who you were. All right. We got standards. We got presence and tunnel vision here. So I feel like you're going to be an authority figure of some sort or you're coming into like a more of a prestigious role. Stepping into more of a pre prestigious role. Some of you could be getting married. Some of you could be getting married to someone. Someone could be asking for your hand in marriage or you're meeting someone that's going to be your person you're a long-term person like yeah you've got your standards together your presence tunnel vision on what you want you're upgrading in a lot of areas i'm also hearing that beyonce song let me upgrade you let's see what's coming in we got justice on the bottom of the deck so it could be a relationship and the will of fortune wow and the higher fence so this is definitely a relationship in the world i know y'all see that relationship card so yeah you're definitely someone is coming in to take accountability or something uh, towards you or recognizing you or recognizing recognizing your essence is what I'm hearing someone is realizing that you've upgraded them or you can upgrade them or something here at the star yeah listen someone is recognizing you there's someone in particular that's recognizing you for sure the star card at the bottom of the deck I feel like there's more than just this person recognizing you but people are going to have questions as to how you did what you did how'd you get that money that you got now how'd you get this new car how'd you get this new house how'd you how did you turn your life around how did you upgrade your life like that's the type of things that i'm i'm seeing here ten of ten of coins at the bottom of the deck and the ten of wands how did you do a complete 180 like there's there's there i don't know what you did or what you're going to be doing but there's something where all of a sudden, let's say, no one's seen you in like years, right? And when you do pop out, when you do pop out, you got all this stuff. You got this big ass house. You got this partner that adores you. You have like money, just so much money, just a certain type of presence, like an upgraded, like a standard. I don't know. It's like you, you went away for a while. And then it's like, it could be just like a year or so, or like even a few months, but it's something that's happening rapidly that's coming in. And then next thing you know, you're engaged or you're married and you have all this stuff. And it's kind of like, everything is like, here you go. But it's a leveling up of your standards that you see for yourself or a tunnel vision on what you truly want, that you're not seeing anything else. And this is like your autonomy here. So you're seeing yourself. And then there's someone that's coming in to see coming in and seeing you in a different way and they want to move forward with you here so it's kind of like you're taking accountability for your life and for what you see for yourself and what you want how you want to be the type of partner you want and there's some sort of grace and favor in this solitude that you've you you've been doing the sitting down you've been figuring out okay like what feels good to me what do i need what do i want what's going to what am what do i need to make me feel Secure, safe and secure. I got to find that within myself first. And so now there's someone that's coming in here ready to give you. 
Ten of Cups. There's someone that is coming in to reconcile or someone, someone new that's coming in to give you what you want that wants the same thing that you want. Seven of Coins wants to work together. Two of Coins, someone that ain't iffy. And then we got Two of Swords in reverse too. So someone that's going to be straight up and direct with you. This is someone you ain't got to... This is someone you ain't got to ask to do right. For a lot of you, this seems like a new person. And for some of you guys, this is that person, that one person that's going to try to come back and reconcile. Be like, look, can we do this again? Can we do this again? Yeah, this is the emperor in reverse. This is someone who was a false emperor before. But we got the fool card and the death card. So they've literally transformed or they're realizing who you are now. But it's something about you set off a chain reaction here, pile three. You're setting off this chain reaction by transcending y'all know y'all know how i feel about this nine of swords card and the thing about the nine of swords is it's it's mainly like a grieving card you're grieving something that you went through something that didn't pan out the way that you wanted and it's kind of like you it's a certain but it's it's a it's a grieving as far as like leaving the old behind and like moving out of a certain like stagnancy so it's kind of like you got beyond the past like it's you're not you're no longer entertaining the past or you're remembering or you're remembering who you are and taking accountability and like you know what wait I can I can have more for my life like there's more there has to be more than just this is what I'm seeing here yeah four of coins like you were keeping yourself cocooned in something old and it just seemed like all of a sudden you decide to take this accountability and upgrade yourself internally and then next thing you know your whole life is being upgraded your life, whole life is definitely going to be upgraded wow wow Knight of coins in reverse, the strength in reverse. And this is kind of like a, like you, like you got with the universe and you're like, you know what? Show me what I need to do. Show me, show me what I need. Show me what's keeping me from all my good in my life. And it's kind of like the universe just showed you like, look, you just got to get beyond this. You got to take accountability for like where you're not stepping up with yourself. And then the moment you do that and claim your autonomy, it's like this person comes in, this whole lifestyle change comes in. It's like everything that you wanted just comes to you. I think that's the thing that we're getting in a lot of these piles here. So tell me more about this person that's coming in. Knight of Swords and then the Five of Wands in reverse. So this definitely gives someone that has a deeper understanding of you now. Six of Wands. So yeah, this is someone that realizes this is someone that realizes they want to make it work with you. Mm -hmm. We got the Chariot card and the Queen of Coins. So this person realizes like, okay, like pile three, they're it. This is someone that is in a rush to like come back in and like make it work with you or to marry you or to be like, you know what? you are right like there's someone that has this realization that's like okay like pile three was it for me like that was wifey that was hubby that was who i should have settled down with like i was out here playing and then they, they kind of get the intuitive nudge from you kind of like all right i yes nine of coins because you are abundant when they when people get with you or people kind of are with you it's kind of like everything will be made right here. So it's kind of like you're an asset to whoever you link up with. So it's something about what you have to realize here through through what your your standards and, and things you have accumulated within yourself. Let's go back to those cards. We got standards. We got tunnel vision. Like it's going to be like people want to know. People will want to get close to you. But it's going to be like you have to. I'm hearing you have to protect your interest, whoever you are, pal three. Because I do feel like people come through with the intention of like if they're sad, they know they link up to you. They by pro by proxy get your energy or get what's what's bestowed onto you. So it's it's going to be kind of like you're you're going to have to know. You're going to have to know who to give the energy to or not. Because listen, you're radiating. We got the magician out here. You are radiating. You're radiating like a signal. Man, seven of cups. So many options like just your way. Just the world seems so much bigger to you now because you don't seem confined to like the past or anything that used to hold you back. Ace of coins. We got something new here going. So let's see. Tell me more about this person. This person could have a kid if there's someone new they could have a kid or you could have a kid with them temperance card yeah this is someone that wants that is ready to grow 
this is someone that wants to take accountability too so whoever this is six of wands yeah they realize they realize they have to take accountability have to be ready for expansion to deal with you so it's something about there there's going to be no lies when it comes to this person they're going to be like oh i got to tell pile three the truth it's something about this person if they've been with you before they know that they've rushed before into or made assumptions before but now this person is genuine about like slowing it down and being very intentional about like being with you they want to be with you but they're like trying to display how genuine they are but this comes off of the work that they see that you've done for yourself here let's see what else is coming what you don't see coming what you don't see coming man nine of cups like so much that you're receiving so much that you're receiving i just can't i it, so much money like words of endearment like people from the past coming back to ask you how did you do that like three of cups in reverse like asking you how are you doing that how did you do that when you stepped away what was your process like people want to know people want to get involved in your life there may be people looking you up when they start when you start to show all that you've accomplished or all the things that you've done people are going to have answers like questions they're going to people i mean people want to demand answers from you because the transformation is just so it's like undeniable your transformation is undeniable it will be undeniable it will be like oh my gosh four of wands here not just financially stable but also too with a partner that's going to be like granting you your every wish like people are just going to be like what the heck i need to know what happened or what they did to achieve that do i need to go goals for like a year or something to get myself together it's going to be a lot of that people wanting to know exactly what you did all right so listen you got so much coming towards you you just don't know it's just a reconciliation with yourself and getting those standards into place and not backing down from it it all starts with you and the next thing you know that person that you want to be with coming back or people are just going to want to fall in line to be in your life pal three that's that's what i'm getting overall all right so pile three that is what's coming to you that you don't see coming but it's coming babe all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and leave this here actually and i will see you guys on my next reading